Keep working, Chamberlain. <laughs> camp Invention is a week-long science camp where kids can come get faced with, oh, how are we going to solve this problem with all these materials that they get to be innovative with and work as a team as well as individually on different parts of STEM. <laughs> We have 62 participants and then four middle school helpers and about six high school helpers. So this year they're focusing on circuits with LED lights. In one room we're focusing on the science behind sports, then prototyping the different materials that they could need to prototype for any project. And then we're doing a more earth related water erosion pollution animal farming. They walk away with working on their fine motor skills, their gross motor skills, collaboration, thinking in different perspectives and facing challenges they might not see, as well as having the opportunity to build something that they might not have access to at home. So a lot of the families here are on scholarships, so they walk away with an opportunity they might not have had previously. Just thinking outside the box like an engineer. Working with kids in a non-super school structured system because there's not the pressure of meeting different assessments and the kids can explore and be more themselves and a lot of it is here's a quick little introduction and then go explore and just seeing what they can come up with with real world problems which is really cool and what all they bring from home and seeing what they have learned in their personal life and we have a lot of returning students so seeing them grow and their whole families is so fun if you just put this one is it gonna hide your axolotl stem is what our future is and i think when you get them started at a younger age their minds are still malleable and they can stretch their minds further and then they just pick up on so much more information and a lot of these kids are able to communicate with adults and with students in a very mature way that they've learned how to use science language but also in normal communication and conversation.